welcome back to guitar channel this time i would like to talk about some experience of mine as a musician and i sure do that some of you had encounter the same situation let's talk about help in carrying our gears the more you want to sound better the more gear or i would say more additional pounds to deal with if you have someone to help you carry your equipment, that may be a different case, but in general, musician like me that plays in bars, restaurant and sometimes in hotels will have to sweat carrying the gears and then you have to set up. By the time you have to play music you are already worn out. That is why I am figuring out the best and easy way not use a lot of my physical strength as I am old, and I don't want to be tired before starting the gig. On most cases, gig is fun but the carrying and to set up the equipment is not. Well, I got this from Harbor Freight Store, made by Hall Master and it is a 19 by 29 inches cart. Let's evaluate it, if this will make my life easier. It has two steady wheels and two a swivels wheels so you can turn the front right to left. It has a three size wheel. Now, one thing is you want a collapsible for space savings in the car. Okay, this one is easy to fold using your foot to release the lock. Well, what do you know? It is really light and easy to carry and put in the trunk or your pickup. Now, let's do the test once it has all the weight into it. This is my blasting speaker that I use for our drum machine and it's 58 pounds. This is my Roland Cube 80 XL for my guitar. A 35 pounds combo amp. This is the QC speaker that we use as part of our PA system and it is weight 39 pounds. And this is my bag for cables and electrical items. Estimated weight is about 30 pounds. Now I keep all my mic stand trays, in this bag and power supply for the electronics which is about 20 pounds. Well, there is 182 pounds load on this cart. Whoa, a little wobbly. Let me secure it before we continue. Now it's tied up well. On flat surface is good. Going down still good. Okay now we have an issue. The wheel is too small for obstacle or some bumps that you may go through. Needs some muscle here. Now let's try to move this on our upgrade situation. Okay, this is not good. I don't want to go with all of this trouble on a gig with similar type of location. If it is flat surface it will be fine. But who has a gig that would turn out on a good nice flat surface every time? Anyway after the test I went and spent a lot of research and found quite a few good ones but with a high price tag. But for the benefit of what it could do to help me move my equipment I am okay to go above my budget. Once I received the product I will make a video out of it so stay tuned. If you are a musician, help me increase my subscriber so I can do more video topics about musicians and guitar stuff. Kindly like it and subscribe. Thanks.